Hey all, welcome back to the channel. As always, they are not monetized. So if you want to support us, bullpinecreations.com, that's all the promotion we'll do. And today we are going to talk about the importance of an intro. It's going to be a short and sweet video, but it's imperative, imperatively important. When you walk onto stage, you should be introduced. It's that simple. You should never walk onto a stage where you're being paid to perform and have to introduce yourself for many reasons. The main reason being, it's not your job, right? Whoever's hired you has paid good money to have you perform at their event. They should be excited. They should be getting the audience excited. Does that mean every single time you're going to be introduced? No. And the problem is a lot of times people who hire you aren't very good in front of people. They're nervous on stage. So how do you make it very simple for them to introduce you? Here's how it goes for me a lot of the times. We'll book the event, we'll work out all the details, all is good. Before we get off the call, I say there's one more really important piece. I need somebody to introduce me. Then I'll just wait. And if they answer quickly and say, great, no problem, I'll do that. Awesome, I've got a short script I'll send you. Now feel free to add anything you would like, but I'd love for you to at least read the script. My script is two sentences, very short and sweet. So what should your introduction be? Think of it as the bullet points of why people should care. So mine says, the man, the Discovery Channel. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the man the Discovery Channel calls the real deal in magical entertainment. You may have recently seen him fool Penn and Teller on their hit show Fool Us. You may have also seen him on blah, blah, blah. Put your hands together for Adam Wilbur. It's two sentences. Very easy to read, no big words that they might stumble over. If you have an interesting or a hard to pronounce name, make sure that the person who's announcing you knows how to say that name. Spell it to them phonetically on the sheet of paper, okay? And it is important because whoever the most important person in the room is, if you can get them to introduce you, everybody else in the room is going to stop talking and give you their attention. There's nothing worse than walking out on a stage and having to spend the first minute or two getting people's attention. It's just a very bad way to start the show. That first minute of you walking on stage is very important. It can make or break the start of your show. If it breaks the start of your show, you've got at least two effects that you've got to play catch up on now. Your opening bit and your second piece of magic. You're still trying to get their attention. Whereas if you have someone who's very important in the room announce you to the script that you set, you let people know you're a professional and you get the entire room to be quiet and give you their attention. So I cannot stress this enough. Do whatever you have to do to make sure somebody is announcing you before your show. Now, obviously, this is talking about stand-up magic, not so much strolling magic. But even still, if you're working restaurants and you can get one of the waiters or the general manager or a manager to introduce you before you walk up to that table, you're going to have their attention and they're going to be much more intrigued as to who is this person. Instead of if you walked up with a deck of cards and said, hey, I'm Adam, can I show you a trick? So I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but you really need to do your best to find somebody that can read your script and introduce you. If it's just not possible, there's just no way that someone can introduce you. Just know you're going to be going up at a disadvantage because the first part of what you're going to have to do is get everybody's attention. There are ways to do it. Um, Paul Daniels had a great way of doing it where he worked in a lot of gentlemen's clubs and it was really loud and, and um, noise in the background. I won't, I won't tip his way because it's in his work, um, but you can go by the work of Paul Daniels and see how he gets an entire room to be quiet. But really, if I'm going out and for some reason they just won't announce me or can't announce me, then I'm gonna grab the microphone, I'm gonna speak really loudly, and I'm going to get everybody's attention. As simply as this. Everybody, can I get your attention up on the stage, please? Everybody, nope, everyone put what you're doing down and pay attention up here. It's not a great way to start a magic show, right? But it is imperative that you get everybody's attention. Because what you don't want to have happen is that 80% of the show is looking at you and 20% are still in their conversation. It's going to drown out the first two, three, who knows how many bits of, of performance you do. So get everybody's attention to the best of your ability. And if you can't get someone to announce you, then just know you're going to go up on stage and you're going to call everybody's attention to you. 
It's not a great way to start a show. So just even if you have to put it in your writer, your writer is your contract that you give to them saying, this is the stuff I need. I put right in the writer, somebody to introduce me before I step on stage. And I'd say about 95% of the shows, I get it. You will run into a couple where you don't, and it's just not the best way to start a show. So again, figure out what your highlights are. Um, you know, you get to brag about yourself a bit here. If you've never won any awards, you don't have anything really to talk about, you have to be a little bit creative, okay? So think about what you could say. Could it be a humorous opening? You know, uh, please welcome to the stage a magician that Carol Summons says is the best magician on the planet. Who's Carol Summons, you ask? Brian's mother, something funny, whatever it may be, but just get someone to get up on stage, introduce you, quiet the audience, and have you walk on to a quiet and receptive audience. Hope that helps.